Hello everyone, this is Colossius and welcome to our video introducing the GoHub application from UniversalGoBon.com. This is our website and our brand new application. Myself and a couple others worked very hard to create this application for you guys. And basically what it is, is it's a central GoHub application that will let you access all your applications, all your Go servers, and all the Go websites from one little spot. That is a theory anyway, it still ha uh, has a ways to go, but it should work for almost all of you guys and almost all of the applications, and we're going to go ahead and look at it, what it offers now, and how to download it. So what is the Universal Go Bond? You can read more about that here at our website. Uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to go to universalgobond.com, the link is in the description below, and then you're going to go down here to version 1.0 which is our launch version. Uh, this is the very first one that we're releasing to everyone. Uh, it's finally here, guys. We worked very hard for many, many weeks to release this application. And uh, if you've been following on Facebook or Twitter, there's been many pictures, like the ones you can see behind us. Uh, the pictures have been getting, building up hype to show you what we're working on and how the progress is going and yada, yada, yada. But now it's here for you guys. So you can just get it and look at it yourself. All right, so you can see a list of features here. So what I want you guys to do is after you get it, I would like you go to the to go to the features and leave us some feedback. Have any feedback, leave it here. This feedback is very, very important to us, guys. We really, really would like to hear what you guys think about it, what you uh, liked about it, what you didn't like about it, what features you would like to request, uh, what you want to see improved, or what you want added. We are all ears. So once you guys get uh, get this application to play around with it, please let us know via YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or on our website. We are all ears on all of them. So uh, uh, let us know if you want to improve. And don't forget to share this page to let everyone else and all your other Go friends know about it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and click here to download the program. So we're going to go over uh, how to download it for Mac and Windows, and then we're going to go over the features of it. So first, I'm going to do the Mac, and I'm going to put an annotation here in the video to tell you what time I start going over the Windows. So if you're on a Windows and you just want to skip this part, go right ahead. Uh, go ahead and skip ahead to the Windows download. But first, I'm going to do a direct download link for Mac. So I'm going to click this link, and it'll take a few seconds to download it, and here it is. Uh, it's got a 2 beside it because I've already downloaded it, and what you want to do is just drag that to your desktop and then unzip it by either double clicking or right click and unzip. Uh, I usually just double click, so I guess you can't right click, I don't know. Just double click it and it'll unzip. If you do not have an unzipper or something like that, uh, you will need something that reads zip files or dot zip files. Just Google it, it's not too hard to get guys, uh, but it is just a dot zip file. All you need is something to unzip it. All right, and once it unzips, you will get this GoHub application version 1.0. So go ahead and double click this and it will launch the application. And here it is guys. Without further ado, built with Unity, here is our Go application. It is finally here and it has all of these features. It's really cool for me anyway. It may not look cool to you guys, but I worked really hard on it. And uh, to me, I'm very happy to finally be releasing this thing. I spent many weeks and many hours developing it, uh, as well as a couple other guys. The graphics aren't mine, but I do love the graphics, uh, and the website is also created by someone else, but uh, pretty much all of, aside from the graphics and the website, all of this is all me, guys. Uh, so I worked pretty hard on this, so I'm excited. I apologize if you're not, but I'm really happy to give this to you guys. All right, so you will see here that the different versions is Mac and Windows. For the Mac version, it should have Mac as default, uh, so you should be fine on that. You should never have to worry about that. All you have to do, guys, is click the server you want to join, and it should work. Now, the TyJump and WBadook do not work because there's no versions for TyJump and WBadook on the Mac. However, they do work on the Windows. Well, the TyJump does. The WBadook is buggy, but that is not our fault, and that is because World Badook has its own issues. All right, so let's get into it. All you have to do is click on the icon. So, for example, Online Go Server. Let's go ahead and click Play, and it will load the Online Go Server for you. And mine automatically logs me in because my password and stuff is saved, so that's cool. And the KGS one, it, you click play and it will open KGS. Now I will uh, make a note guys, this only works with this latest version of KGS. If you do not have the latest version, this will not work. That is because, as you can see here, the latest version of KGS is a little bit different. And when I say a little, I mean a lot for us programmers. 
Uh, so the little difference for you guys is it doesn't have that little green square. So if you have the green square, then your version's too old because this is C Goban 3 and this is just C Goban. It makes a difference because where it's saved on the computer, what type of file it is, and its name is all different. So I couldn't write a bunch of code to load two different things. I had to pick one or the other, and so I went with the latest version. So, all, But it's really simple, guys. All you have to do is go to gokgs.com, gokgs.com, and you will see, get the latest ones now for this, and for Windows, for Mac, raw jar. Uh, just get the Mac one and go ahead and download it, and you will get the same thing here. See, go, man, and uh, just put it in your applications folder with all your other applications, and it will work fine. So all I have to do is click this and click play. As long as your the latest version is in your applications folder, you are good to go. Uh, Drag and Go server it also works, and lastly, the Pandanet works. Um, so that's basically for that. I will go over these app later in the video, so go ahead and uh, fast forward past the Windows version. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the Windows version. So I'm going to quit this and go into my applications and launch VMware Fusion, which is my Windows on my Mac. Uh, and uh, where's my finder? There's my finder. All right. Applications, VM. All right. There we go. And let's go ahead and launch this. As you can see, I still got, already got my GoHub here, but I'm going to go over that for you guys. All right, so if you're just tuning in, we are now going to get the Go Hub for Windows. Now, this won't be as simple as it was for the Mac because, unfortunately, I do not, uh, Windows is not as nice uh, about uh, file types and putting all the files in one little location. So it is a little bit different, but uh, I'll walk you straight through, guys. It shouldn't be too difficult. All right, so let's go to universalgoban.com uh, and then go to the current version. All right, in the current version, we're going to go to this Windows download direct download link. We're going to click that direct download link and go ahead and get the folder. And we're going to download anyway because it's not a virus, guys. It's just because I'm an unknown developer. I'm not some great Google publisher person. So uh, because it's an unknown developer, it's it doesn't know who I am. It's scared of me. Uh, I apologize. All right, so what you want to do is drag this onto your desktop. Uh, now, as you can see here, I already have one. What you want to do is use whatever extractor program you've got. For me, that is WinZip, and um, I don't recommend this one. <laughs> this one's uh, a little crazy and crashes a lot. Uh, but anyway, this is the one I got. And uh, what you want to do, it see, uh, what you want to do is ignore the Mac folder. You don't need that. That's just because it was compiled on the Mac. Uh, if you do not have a .zip file reader or something like that, Google it and get like WinRAR. I think WinRAR is a good one. I don't know why I have WinZip. I don't like it. But uh, WinRAR I think is a good one and or you can get WinZip like I do. But all you need is something to unzip this folder. This uh, is something you will need because it is zipped um, and I think every computer should be able to get this pretty easily. Uh, anyway, what you want to do is extract the GoHub folder. So go ahead and, oops, not double click it. I thought double click would work. Go back, go back, back. All right, and right click, extract. There we go. Now I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Uh, you can extract it wherever you want and then uh, unzip and it will unzip and you will get this little folder. Now this little folder has the application inside of it but it's very, very important guys that you do not take the application outside of it. This is the application right here. Do not take it outside of the folder. If it is not with this data folder, it will not work. Uh, that's why Windows is not as nice as Mac because it lets you take it outside of the folder with the data in it. But uh, what you want to do is actually just right click and create a shortcut. So uh, if you're worried about how you, nice your desktop looks or anything like that, you can easily move this folder to whatever you want. So for example, let's go into my my own folder, go to computer, local to C, go into program files, I don't care where you put it. You can put it in my documents, you can just leave it on your desktop, wherever you want. But you can put it wherever you want. Uh, continue, and it doesn't matter where it is, guys, as long as it's on your computer. But once it's once you have it where you want it, go ahead and just right-click it and create shortcut. And the shortcut is going to go ahead and open it, and you can move the shortcut wherever you want. I already have a shortcut, so I don't need to. But as long as the main program, the main application, is in the same folder with the data file, you are good to go. You are golden. 
but anyway, that is for the Mac. If you do not follow it very well, I apologize if I went too fast. Go ahead and watch this video as many times as you need to, and feel free to ask me questions in the comments below or on Facebook or anywhere. I am happy to help you install this, uh, the GoHub. I am happy to help you install it. But anyway, once you got that shortcut or you want to just open it from the folder, whatever you want, go ahead and open it, and you will see this screen. All right, time to go over all the features, guys. We are now going to go over all the features. So first off, let me point out that uh, the KGS and the WBadook are the only two that you will likely have issues with. Let's go over why. WBadook is a Korean application, and the way they save it sometimes doesn't work. So it works half the time, but half the time it doesn't. That's because of how it saves itself and uh, the fact that it's, it's buggy in its own right. So WBadook should work if you have a working version. Um, sometimes it doesn't though if it's not saved in the program files and yada yada yada. So unfortunately the WBadook may not work and that is not completely my fault. That is because they do weird stuff with their application that's already buggy. But uh, aside from that, all the others work. But let's get into the KGS. Some of you may ask, why does the KGS not work? I clicked it and I clicked play but it doesn't work. Well actually that is uh, again, KGS's fault. Uh, I did my absolute best to make this the best application for you guys, but these these servers, not all of them cooperated. Uh, let's go into why KGS is a little annoying. It actually has nothing to do with uh, the program or the program file. It has to do with the fact that KGS is now a new type of uh, application. It is a different application than what it used to be. It is uh, saved in a different spot, and it's a different file name. Therefore, you will need the latest version of KGS. Let me repeat that. You need the latest version. If you have the little green square behind your KGS, I should probably actually change that icon here as well. But if you have the green square, then your version is not up to date. You need the latest one because it is not CGoBan 3 anymore. It is CGoBan. I did consider making uh, some lines of code to load CGoBan 3, but the fact of the matter is... It needs to work with the latest versions, and I didn't want to get all confusing with the butts or buttons, like select your version or something like that, and confuse you guys. I wanted to make this as seamless as possible, but unfortunately, you have to have the latest version of KGS. As long as you have the latest version, it will work. Let's go over how to get the latest version. Well, what you do is you go to gokgs.com, gokgs.com. And you will see that they now have a little bit different website. I don't know if you were in the old versions or not, but uh, for Windows, for Mac, for JAR, what you need is the Windows, and click here, and you will get this new cgoban.exe. It is now an executable instead of a Java type. Uh, I think it still uses Java, or I don't know. I don't actually know a lot about this. I just know it's now an executable file, and the name's different, and where it's saved is different. And that I know because I was trying to track it down, and I was trying to load it. All right, let's go ahead and run this. Yes, it's from an unknown developer, but I don't care. I like Go, so I'm going to trust it. Uh, okay, we'll go ahead and get that, and we're going to close this and start going over the features of the GoHub. Now, this is a little buggy on mine, and that is because I am using a bad Windows version, so let me just close that and restart it. Um, but it should work completely fine on yours, guys. This is just a Windows version for me to debug stuff and uh, work with stuff to get it working for Windows, so unfortunately it doesn't work perfectly for me. All right, so here is the new CGoBan. It's still CGoBan 3. It looks the exact same. It does the exact same thing, but it's completely different. Um, but now that we have that, this should work, and it will load it from where it is now, which is in the programs file. So it does work, and uh, there's that. And the online Go and the Dragon Go server, oh, are so nice because they don't have their own standalone application. You just click it, and it loads a website. It's so much easier to do. I didn't have to track it down. It wasn't that hard to code. So anyway, uh, that one was a lot nicer to do. All right, so anyway, uh, there's a the server. It's basically, you just click on your server and you click play. And as long as it says Windows right here, you should be completely fine. Or if you're on the Mac, it'll say Mac. Uh, but you basically select your server and click play and it will load the server for you. You don't have to go track down your servers anymore. It's now a one stop for all your Go servers. It's one application for it all. Uh, now we go into these little links. These little links, I think, are pretty cool. Basically, in the Go News, you will see the latest Go News. Um, unfortunately, it only gives you links to websites. I can't actually embed websites yet because I don't have permission. So if you are a website owner and you would like me to put your latest blog post or something like that 
in here, please get in contact with me. But uh, basically, the Go News will give you the link to the American Go Association's website, the European Go Federation's website, and the Go for Go website. The Go for Go, for those of you who do not know, which is the reason I included it, is the latest Go games, professional Go games, uh, worldwide. So it's like international tournaments and national tournaments in Asia. This is great for looking at pro games, look at the top-rated players, look at the latest tournaments, and all that kind of stuff. Event calendar, it has a calendar to tell you when the pros are playing. It's a really, really good site for pro information. So I included it in here to make sure all of you guys had access to all this information that is available online. Like I said, guys, it's your central Go Hub. It's one stop for all of your Go information and Go links. It basically gives you all the Go links and uh, servers you should need to play. Now, I do want to add more stuff to it. So if you know of other websites that are good for the Go community to know, it has to be a Go-only site, though. It can't be other Go sites with chess and other stuff. It has to only be Go to be eligible to be uh, featured here. As long as it's only Go and it's decent and it's pretty popular and regularly updated, uh, then it can be qualified. So go ahead and let me know, guys. I want to get all the information on here that I can so that way everyone has access to the latest information. All right, now let's go into the store. The store actually has Go sets, Go books, and my own little store. Uh, I figured since I built it, I could put my store in here. Uh, also, uh, the reason I don't have other stores is because I don't actually have partnership with the other stores. I don't have their permission to actually post stuff. So the Go Game Guru, I have complete permission. I can uh, post you links to their site and their stuff, and uh, it'll be completely fine. So here's the links to the Go sets, the links to the Go books, uh, and you can go ahead and get your equipment and study material here. It's a great place to do it. And it has my link to my website, which has my own little store, which features the stuff I'm selling for Badu TV in Korea, which is the Badu Classic and the Portable Go Set, as well as some PDF documents. If you are interested in that, uh, feel free to take a look around. All right, so if you are a Go supplier, please get in contact with me. I would like to feature you here, but you can only supply Go stuff. You can't supply other stuff. You have to be Go only. Uh, but as long as you are a Go supplier and you want to be featured here, please let me know. I am happy to put other people on here as well. Lastly, let's go into live streams. The live streams actually show uh, or give links to the popular live streamers. If you are a live streamer and you live stream Go, once again, it can only be Go content. You can't live stream other stuff. And you have to live stream pretty regularly, and you have to have a minimum of 100 followers. If you don't have at least 100 followers, then you are not eligible to be featured here. So work hard, get those 100 followers, and then let me know so I can put you on here. I want to put as many people on here as I can. But basically, this is the links to the popular Go streamers. Uh, there are a few others, but I wasn't sure how many followers they had, and I was coding, and I wasn't going to do a lot of research for this right now. It will be updated in the future, though, guys, so keep an eye out. This is only version 1.0. So while this is only version 1.0, this will be updated a lot, and I hope to give you guys many more features in the future. All right, so going ahead and looking at this is the links to each person's live stream. Uh, basically, it will give you the link to that, and uh, this little Twitch icon gives you the link to the Go game on the Twitch.com in general. Uh, this follow this, and you can see the all the Go streamers if they're live. You will see them here, and you can follow this. They receive notifications about when someone goes live playing Go. Uh, this is a little bit buggy though, but that's Twitch's fault, not mine. Uh, I just did everything I could to get you here, but this is the link to this. All right, but that is it, guys. That is the Go Hub. I hope you guys enjoy it and like it. Uh, if you want to uh, request features, please let me know what features you would like to see. If you like this, uh, this, then please let me know what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, let me know what you didn't like, and let me know uh, how often you use it. I really, really want feedback, guys, so I can improve this and make it the best I can for you guys. Uh, so let me know via Facebook, YouTube, the comments below, Twitter, or just uh, on our forum on our website. Let me know what you guys think about this application. All right, but that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm really excited about this finally releasing, and I hope you guys are too, and I hope you guys like our little application. We worked pretty hard on it for you guys. Uh, all right, so go ahead and get that. Let me know if you have any questions or any trouble installing it, and I will be happy to help you out uh, and share it with your friends. Let everyone know about it and tell them to leave feedback as well so that way I can get uh, get features that they want. 
But uh, yeah, look forward to future updates. We will be updating this, and hopefully, little little sneak peek, I'm hoping, if it's not too difficult, to get a friends list on the GoHub. This means that you can actually get inter-server friends list where if someone plays on KGS, you can add them on your friends list on the GoHub. Or if they play on OGS, then you can add them on there. So even if they play on a different server than you, you can still have a friends list. And I'm hoping to get a chat room as well so you can say, oh, I'm playing on OGS right now, or I'm playing on KGS right now, and blah, 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 blah. I'm hoping that's a future feature, but um, if you like that idea, then please uh, submit that as a requested feature, and I will try to get it out. Uh, but yeah, let me know, guys, what you think about it, what features you want, uh, what you like, what you didn't like, and uh, yeah. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the application. Please let me know uh, in the comments below if you had any trouble, and I will try to do my best, my, uh, best to fix it. And I will see you guys next time.